Hey, what's up, guys? Mikas here for WeMakeDanceMusic.com. We are at episode 5 of our electronic music uh, jam sessions. And I want to say right away to start that I'm celebrating around this time 20 years of music production. So 20 years ago, I had the chance to get my hands on a notebook and a copy of Rebirth was installed in it. It absolutely blew my mind. First time I fiddled a little bit with it, the second time brought the notebook to the club, plug it into the big sound system and I spent six or seven hours jamming, you know, into a super big sound system in a DJ booth and I had really probably one of the best time of my life so far, it get me to discover that I could do electronic music and even with Rebirth it was real time, I was tweaking it, changing things. Used to have an audio tape recording, sadly I lost it, I would have loved to share it with you guys, but yeah, 20 years producing music now, so this is just a little fact that I wanted to put in. So 20 years, we're gonna jam today. I got uh, Logic uh, Project open here, 122 BPM. Uh, it's gonna be techno -y, deep -y, who know deep tech, melodic, I don't know. So 122 BPM, 48,000 kilohertz. This is a blank project, there's absolutely nothing in it, so I will do everything from scratch and I will let you guys know what is happening like any of our previous um, music production jam and of course again so you know if you don't watch the whole video of course again uh, all this template that I will create this project I will create will be available on wemakedancemusic.com for five bucks I think it's a really good deal to get a two minute style you know, like it like a project that you can open in your in Logic Pro in this case and have fun with it I will not use any other plugin than uh, the ones in Logic Pro, so that's super easy. Download Pff, it work. So here we go. I don't know what's gonna come out of it today. Feels good. 20 years making music. I mean, it's a long time. Maybe for some, just spoke to somebody. It was like I'm at 30. I'm like, okay, then 20 is not. You know, it's uh, and he's still going and he's happy with it. So okay. Oh, I have a bass here, which is not what I'm gonna start with. So I'm grab this kick here. It's a nice deep techno techie kick, so I'm gonna start with that. I'm not exactly on time, but you know, quantize exist exactly for this matter. Exists, I would say. Sorry for my unperfect English, but I'm actually French Canadian primarily, so French was my first language, then English kind of became my first language, so it's it's sometimes confusing for me to say, and now Spanish too, so yeah. All right. For the kick, as, as a start, so this, is, this is nice. They mixed it exactly like I like it. Minus 10 dB, I gave myself a little bit of room to maybe crack it up li later. So minus 10, minus 8, minus time, 10, minus 9, depending on, on how you feel it really. But basically to me, this is a good start. This kick, this kick is good, but I'm not too certain. I feel it was a bit too subby for me. So, so you have the sub and the body. I don't like the sub. The body is nice. A bit of distortion and low. A bit more on the punchy side or on the long side. I like this punchier kind of type. That's good so far. Mm, compressed enough to my taste. So I'm gonna take some shortcuts because um, you know we're working, we're making a track with you guys. I don't want to take all day. Whoa, that is some freaking heavy snare drums, guys. Whoa. So this is great. So with this uh, drum machine design, I, I can just go here and in real time. I'm looking, yeah, that's good. I'm looking for something, you know, not not too long. See, this is a bit reverby. I, I like this. This is cool. This is totally fine. Like I said, I'm gonna go quick. So you know, we're able to build a like the basis of a track quickly, so you guys don't get bored. Oh, I have to bring it up.
so after making you know i don't i don't know really honestly how many tracks that i started in my life but uh must be in a couple thousands you know how many track that i finish i think my beatport catalog got 250 300 you know plus the templates that i've done now it's it's probably in the five six hundred so you know over 20 years i don't even think it's a much much you know when you think about it but there was a time i didn't produce so much in the last 10 i definitely just produce constantly this is what i've been doing so um <laughs> I kind of know where those goes usually. So for a techno track really or deep tech track, I would start really for with the percussion. Some people maybe start with synths. For me, if this is this is all about the drums really, and then you gotta have some minimal elements, some effects some progressions but really we're, we're talking about the beat here not sure about this hi-hat Again, guys, I just have to put it where it belongs. At least this is how I build my my uh, my tracks. Everybody get their own processes, you know. I think you should really be. really be creative and do do what what works best for you so I like that sound here just a bit of beat on the third okay I'm gonna put a shaker in there and we're gonna make some I like shakers personally. I don't think I can make a track without shakers anymore. So what what I am doing, if you guys don't know, old alternate and play with this, so you're able to to change the the, the me, and then of course I'm triggering those channels here that are already bust to different drum sounds. So of course this is in Logic. So maybe it doesn't apply to all of you guys, but it's good to know. I wouldn't say it took me 20 years to be able to make beats like that, but it surely took me a long time to be able to do it this fast. <laughs> Experience really, really helps. A bit of a delay without. Am I on the right channel or something? Oh, I'm on the higher channel. Jesus. Oh, it's better like that, actually. Thing they put in this in this uh, 
are not not good. <laughs> They're not good at all. What is this? How about I just stick a delay designer in there or something? Because this is this not good. Well, this is like a simple 132 slow pan. Maybe a bit less of the wet mix. So we got that 808 kind of drum feels with some fat drums, hi-hats, maybe another. Let's, let's, let's try to answer these drums. This drum is actually here. I don't know, like that here. So you can hear the first the in the first drum sequence. One second. Mm, not exactly. What was it? We could, we could go full, full, and I'm gonna join this here. We can go all, all out, almost tribally, you know, and if we really wanted to. And then I would probably add one here. Yeah, I like, I like that. It's gonna give us it's the the thing. Because if you put too much drums, there's not going to be room for the melodic elements. So while I love to build tons of layers of drums, I think it's also could be a drawback later on. All right, all right, all right. I got something there. I got this. Ooh. something like that key change maybe a little more in the patterns I think try to follow the drums okay so with MIDI it's easy. I like I like those two here and this one here. This is definitely a keeper. I'm not sure if I even need any more than this with the drums. So I'm gonna take just this little chunk here. I'm gonna make it into a full pattern and then maybe it's gonna work. Excellent. I will take this key again, and then I'm uh, maybe here. So I'm gonna put a counter bass line because it's better when there's more. Sometimes, depending on what you're talking about, though. So I'm gonna go into my other synthesizer here, Retro Synth, another excellent Logic plugin. Sorry for the shuffle guy, I tend to shuffle fast maybe for some people, it's like, oh my god, Jesus, stop. No, this is like the way, this is the speed I work usually. So I have a creative juice, so I have a certain momentum 
and I want to keep it going, so I have to go tak 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 and then fine, you know, and then move on, move on, move on, move on. Not not dwell on trying to find the perfect sound. If it sounds good in it. Ooh. Oof. That was punchy. And we can also switch here quickly. No, definitely not. very techno. I think I would put it a bit longer. So guys, because I'm a progressive trancey kind of guy most of the time, I'm gonna do my very best not to turn this into a prog house trance track because, you know, I start like that and then I build, build, build and I'm gonna have the melodies and this and that. So I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna do my very best to keep it minimal or techno or you know something like that secondary ruler here i'm gonna make it into uh i'm a bit confused about the time here what the 15 11 10 seconds 12 what? Seconds. I'm gonna make it right away into approximately two minutes, which will be our final template. And then I'm gonna start building this into a little bit of a track, like accentuating some effect, uh, maybe put some drones, some pads, some effects, some drum rolls, you know. What I heard when I was making it earlier, I heard this. The snare was very nice, so I'm gonna create another drum designer channel. So I just literally replicated it, and I would love to hear like a snare roll with this because the snare is perfect for this. Just make some little pattern variation. And because it's a supplemental one, that means what I mean by that is not the main snare, I want to process it. You know? To me, it needs some compression. Not too quick. I want it to be too punchy. Take too much space in the low end. Because it's a very it's a very present, there's a lot of hits, so Save this and call it 20 years. Yeah, 20 years. And it 
what I hear on top of it. I don't know if it's the same for you guys or maybe I'm totally psycho. Uh, but when I hear, when I make this, you think things come to my head, you know, things definitely come to my head and for this, oh, I was about to use silent, but I said I will not use external plugins. So let's try to find the 303 sound in this um, user channel, blah, 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 bass, 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 no, not this type of bass at all. Synthesizer, arpeggiator, cinematic. I was going to go in synthesizer, EDM, lead, EDM, chords, soundscape string, experimental, uh, EDM chord. Then, am I uh, selected this, this thing? Oh, I'm not on musical keyboard. Whoa. I wanted uh, I wanted a 303 mm. or something acid really. oh I think I had something mm, no. some acid I really don't know if it's gonna work in the mix, but this is what I it came to me, so I'm like, okay, maybe I'm gonna try that. Yeah, this is actually super, this is better than I even expected, so thanks, Apple. Um, so, like I said in many times in my videos, I am not I am not a composer, so for me keys and stuff, well I can, you know, get my way around making some melodies and stuff I'm not a pro, but I still want to keep it in, in tune, you know, so... So let's check. Uh, Alchemy, this is another Logic Synth. There's different types of uh, 303s here, so let's do it. Thing we need a key change. Yeah, that was great. Maybe you've seen some things there. Something... Did not... Well, let's mix this beast a little bit. I already have a bass and stuff, so... Try 
try to do a filter but a bit of resonance because it's a 303 so something uh, to build a track out of that or something i think so i'm gonna take another five minutes so half an hour for these episodes what i'm gonna do after this i'm gonna put another extra hour or so into making this this project into like a cleaner template with a better mix but you know for now i think we should start to build a bit of a track you know with some uh, parts and stuff we started with that guys huh I think I'll start with something like that. Maybe not those quick snare, no? Oh, this is uh, necessary, yeah? yeah? You do create a lot of rhythm in there. A little bit of a... Uh... So if you know me guys, you know I love automation. So I put it on touch here, push play, play with this here. Go on to the channel here. I did not, I forgot to put one of the function up here. Track zoom, show automations. Oh, no, remove this, show automations. Oh, it didn't work because I was on musical typing. Okay, now it is on touch. Now it's recorded the movement here. So check this out. to maybe put a bit of a tease in there for the acid part that will come in later because this is going to be only two two minutes so let's hear it Three, four, here. I think here we should open. Just completely like it. Again, exactly the same as I've done earlier with the touch. Ow! So there's some accumulation of automations at the starting point, which create this 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 woof, this bit of violent little thing there. So so those effects are cool, and they come straight up from filter opening and closing, you know.
my way to introduce my main lead. You can see it now. I'm gonna six. I'm gonna go all the way to here, building it. Again, I think I think this this is worthy of playing with those 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 uh, snare drums filters here. At the same time, creates a movement always. Since we have the possibility to. Sid was born in, in the 1990s, didn't have the chance to write as much automation as they could, so it was a very different time with uh, very different possibilities, but they still did some sick tracks, I imagine we can do today. Yeah, that is sweet, I like that very much, I'm just gonna do a little bit of, uh, of the kind of a drop here, and then uh, it's gonna be time to do some other matters. Oh, did I lost my 303? Oh, I think it dropped here. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> Put the drop at the wrong place. Uh oh. So it build, build, build. Should I drop it? I like to drop things. Yeah. minutes I think that's it for me guys all right guys I hope you enjoyed this fifth episode of the electronic uh, music jam sessions with me Mikas I will like I said earlier I'm gonna bring some guests in for now, I'm starting this this movement of people, you know, literally jamming on music in real time. I think you should just do it, man. Just show it to people. People are interested. They want to see what you're doing. What is your processes? I, I think there's literally no processes. You just go for it, man. Practice, practice, push, push, practice. And if you're interested in processes and things like that, I've written a really good article on our blog and also did a vlog about creativity and you know what is the processes that could bring you to be more creative to have a bigger output and stuff like that it is on our blog at wemakedancemusic.com but if you're still watching you have to smash that like button forget to see it smash that like button a couple times you know it's gonna give more likes maybe you know when you push that elevator button a couple times it's come faster man this is this is a fact anyway so if you're still watching you can use the code mikas m-i-k-a-s in the checkout and get half price of phoenix purchase and until the next time may the sounds be with you